Hello, 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 everyone. How are we all doing tonight? Sorry, I forgot to post the link when I <laughs> scheduled this because I'm lazy and terrible at everything. Hmm. We're going to be back with more Vigilant today. I imagine we'll be finishing Act 3. Song never gets old. I don't know what we'll do after that. Have my drink and we'll be on our way. Alright. Cats are fed, I am fed. By that I mean I had my Reese's Cups, so we're ready to go. I'm a very healthy person. Right, I was talking to Gwyneth. I can't tell what's colder here. The weather or the people? Oh. Calm down, buddy. There's a lady at this temple. Well, we have new vigilance, I guess. I thought you guys were all dead. So I heard somebody say yesterday that the ending can change based on how much like devotion you have or whatever, so I'm wondering if we should do more of these. We'll see what she wants first. She was downstairs last time. Hello? Do you have some time? I need to talk to you about something. Uh, sure. Some time ago, a vigilant was sent to the mansion of a noble from Koral. Now we've received a letter from him, asking for reinforcements. I wanted to send him a few vigilants immediately, but... What? Letters take longer to arrive than usual, what with the civil war and everything, but... It's been months since he was sent there. Also, the Vigilant hasn't returned yet, and I fear it may already be too late. I want to leave this decision to you. What should we do? Hello, Marcus. Uh, I will check. All right. Please. Be careful. I will prepare a carriage in front of the temple to take you to the mansion. I have a feeling this is the part they were talking about yesterday where we get locked out of Skyrim proper because it sounds like we're going to a new area. I have plenty of carry weight, so I think we'll be all right. Consider dropping off your display. Hey, yeah, great minds. Uh, I think we'll be good. Let's get this show on the road. If there's 600 pounds of shit here that I want, then we probably got bigger problems. The Blue Palace. Except with more grass. Welcome. We have been waiting for you. Please, follow me inside. My lord will meet you there. Like the rest of my people. I am just a shadow, a remnant, 
Nothing worth talking about. Except for your fucked up eyebrows. Master Buffalo was also waiting for us inside. Please, come in. It's not that unusual. It's a common name for an elf. You are the second person I've met named Baal. Coming? No. Oh, I didn't expect my followers to come with me, so that's cool. More carry weight. This place gave my nightmares nightmares. Oh well, that's exciting. Investigate to solve the incident. Okay. Oh. Well, oh, bye. Horn of Stendor is reacting to something. Hey. Break the blood curse of shivers. You know what that means! Also, my followers didn't come into here, so that's really what I expected. Well, I usually default to going left whenever there's multiple choices, so... Well, we're doing this again. Uh, if you were here for our Worm's Tooth adventure, there was a quest there where a mannequin was following us around. So now I guess we are following this mannequin around. Hot. I'm going to keep my light off to try to preserve the haunted feeling. But if it gets too dark, then, you know, we can always toggle this. Oh, I didn't even see you guys in the darkness. I would like some of that armor. Why is everything locked all the time? Core is really cool. I like all these so inlays and stuff. Hey, turtle. Is everything fucking locked? All right, all right I'll use it. My B. Trying to preserve the atmosphere. I guess going left was a bad idea. Oh no! I thought that was Lucian. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> you got Marcus. Can't stop crying. All I have left is hate, yet I'm drowning in tears. My beloved son Julius is no longer human. He is a child of oblivion. It's all my fault. I must take responsibility. Hey, Abby. Oh, I guess it's a good thing I went left. Well, he did have a key, though. To what? I do not know. What's up, man? Oh, okay, bye. Shelves. Hold on, Vigilant. I need all this. Oh, that crashed my game. I've been seeing this in Discord lately. People were reporting crashes when open bookshelves. Uh, yes, this is my first run in Vigilant. But it's a specific book that I'll have to take a look at some point. I don't remember which one it was. I'll have to use search and look it up. That was an issue with Quick Look. 
or quick moot and a book in a bookshelf that was spawning, so it's like a random thing. Surprised I've only just now hit it, considering I'm like 160 hours into this or some shit. Dance and Fire Volume 1. All right. I mean, I'll have the crash log now, so it'll be easy for me to find. All right, take two. I mean, you know how iffy I am with remembering stuff, but there's certain things that always stick with me. Like, uh... Like, all my years in kitchens. I worked in kitchens for like 17 years. And now, if I see meat, like, I remember the expiration date. Like, no matter how long it'll be. Wait, was he here this whole time and I just didn't see him? Oh, I feel like a piece of shit. Light! I don't know if this is like mandatory for me to use this, but we should. I'm gonna drop a save here. Actually, I'm gonna save it myself. Uh, save. Oh, crash fix, please. Now I can always come back and try to replicate that. Hopefully, it'll keep spawning in that bookshelf so I can have an easy test test area for it. But till then, I'm just not gonna open any of these. It's weird that that pops up for like half a second. See how like the book menu shows. Hey! I crashed again. Cool. I'm not gonna look at those bookshelves. <laughs> Will this can bring auto saves to full saves? No. I live my life on auto saves, dude. I always have and I always will. I was kind of asking for that crash, so I was fucking with those bookshelves. I know that's a big popular debate about auto saves and quick saves and full saves. I am in the it's all bullshit camp. Especially these fucking workarounds people come up with. They blow my mind. Like, uh, don't save 30 seconds after entering a cell, or don't save within 15 seconds of fighting, or don't save when scripts are running, and, you know, or uh, my favorite would be, uh, Quit to desktop anytime you die so that it doesn't reload a save. That fucking blows my mind. I just couldn't imagine sitting here playing a game for like three or four hundred hours and spending every single one of those hours terrified that my game is going to break because I loaded a save. That is not acceptable to me. Michelle's RNG, yeah. It's volume 6. Volume 6 is alright. I wonder if it's just like a... Ah, oh, fuck, what's the word? Uh, a corrupt mesh or something just on that one book cover, but you would think that all these volumes would have the same one. Well, I guess they'd be slightly different for the spine based on the volume. Anyway, um... Look, I'm not trying to convince you one way or another about the save thing. It's just a topic that I am so over with. <laughs> I was on Reddit yesterday. Fucking shocker. I don't know who came up with that, but I hate them. Actually, let's see how many hours we have, just out of curiosity. All right, 124 hours, and I've had that crash, 
I've had Shadow Skyrim fuck with me. Uh, I've had that Strange Runes crash, and I haven't had that since I disabled the Shadows and the MCM. But I haven't had any corruption issues, my save files are normal, and every time you see me start this game on stream, I'm loading an autosave. Because I'll, I'll always, like, save it and say, ah, good night, guys, and then I'll usually go do something else like inventory management, and then I'll just leave and quit the game, so it's usually an autosave. That's why you always just see this screen when I quit, because I'm not actually done playing. I have to go do other stuff. But it's boring stuff that nobody actually wants to see. Afraid to look at this? Okay. <laughs> Miss anything in here? Tea, perhaps? So. I got so distracted with talking, I forgot if I picked up anything important in this room. Like, I had his journal that I should probably read, I guess. But most people with save issues are people running loot every day and messing with load orders and masters. Um. That's not really going to hurt anything. As long as you're not changing your form IDs, the uh, the mod index can change and you'll be fine. Which is what running loot would do. It would change your uh, your mod index, but the IDs are all the same. What was I doing? I was reading Dude's Journal. Fuck. You got me talking. That was it like, journal hyphen. Oh, oh that's the one. To the Temple of Stendar. Unfortunate accidents in the mansion. Vigilant sent to vigilant named Bartholo. Julius has stopped speaking since his mother vanished. Been a month and the incident stopped. Julius is acting weird and avoiding Bartolo. The butler's dead. His own dogs ate him alive. Jesus fucking Christ. Somebody cast a frenzy spell on them. The maid killed herself. Ball, the other butler, found her dead? Well, that's not at all suspicious. But Quentin Sane. Almost dead, eaten alive by a horde of skeevers. Why are these people still working in this place? Julius is now suddenly paying attention to Bartolo, who is silent and locked in his room. I have no idea if any of that's important. I mean, I can still pick up these books. But I mean, I use loot for Tempest. I have, you know, like 300 loot rules and custom groups and stuff, but I still use loot. I, I feel obligated to check this wardrobe, and I'm scared to do it. Oh, I did already. Cool. Alright. I don't see anything else in here. Except for that book! Displays. Alright, we can go. if anything changed in the main hall. Not my Peter said. Oh. understand what that horn does. It said it would like show me the path and I had to listen, but I don't hear or see anything. Uh, 
Nothing else down this way. Didn't miss any doors. Alright, there's gotta be something upstairs. Nowhere else to look. I don't know why, but I feel like it's in this room. I didn't mean to take that, but whatever. Can't activate the paintings. Maybe there's nothing in here. These two rooms just feel wrong. Because, like, this door auto opened for me. I hate you want to look behind things. I am looking behind things. Maybe not to your liking. Let's head back to his study. Maybe we missed something. I'm terrified to go near these bookcases. It's gonna crash if I do. Oh, hey! Hello. Oh, hi. Funny, because I was walking by there earlier and I was like, those crates look weirdly out of place, but I didn't say anything. Or look at it even more. Fuck. They need a new home decorator. Oh, what's up, man? Unnecessary. Doesn't look good. I thought that was a trap that was gonna hit me. Oh. What the fuck? I thought it was just like, oh, hi. I dislike how few shots this thing has. Get away from me, creepy little shits. Magical lately. No, ah! oh, hey, stop it. Unnecessary. Ah! Ah! Two for. Ah! I don't 
orker. What was that? It was a orker. I was just hearing things. Is that weapon? Uh, yeah, this is in Vigilant, so it's in the list. It's my pistol. I'm in full Witch Hunter gear. It's a little hard to tell with the, the magic shit I have going on. I'm, uh, I'm playing the part. This is a Bloodborne weapon. I've never played Bloodborne. Or any Souls game, honestly. Sibylla of Shivers. study. A weird saw was one of the Bloodborne starter weapons. Oh, really? I didn't know that. The only time I even saw Bloodborne was just while I was just like randomly watching GDQ. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention though because I was not interested. I just kind of had it on the background. You know, it's weird though, when I was in that creepy section, I saw a guy named Marcus, like, just having random combat dialogue. Like, someone there, and I saw his name at the bottom, in the subtitles. Oh, nudity. I replace those paintings. I think Tao pointed that out to me a little while ago, and I just never looked into it because I'm a shitty person. What the fuck? I like their hats. I want one. Maybe we should go see what our mannequin buddy's up to. Stop telling your black magic stories to the boy. Love letter. But it sounds like their kid was some sort of evil force. But hey, um, I'm gonna look around just a little bit more. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, cool.
twofer. Patricia. Something hates stairs. You're pleased, kind. Hey, I cut her head off. <laughs> That's what that animation was. Good source for human hearts, if anybody's into alchemy. What ain't supposed to happen? The decapitation thing? Orca is supposed to be covered in lumpy flesh skin. Oh. Huh. So I would assume they... Actually, I'm not sure. I would have to look into that. Uh, don't push me. Judge of corruption. Ah! Like to murder him. Yeah, I don't see any lumpy flesh skin. But we can figure that out. So, just check your textures. Yeah, it's probably just getting overwritten by whatever porker overhaul we have. Porker skin that go in. I'll have a look at that. No, I didn't change any of that. I don't do visual stuff. Casey probably just hasn't been here. Really? That texture path, though, sounded um, pretty generic. So it makes me think that just accidentally overwritten. We could probably just make it a unique path or something. Freezing thing is fucking up. I love this sword so much. He's holding a human bat. There is. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. It's great. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you got it. Game. Wow, I can take his weapon too. That's amazing. It's a burnt corpse. Burns a target. Oh my god. This is so stupid. I love it.
I'm not wearing bell bottom jeans. Head to Julius's room. Well, if I know where that was. This fucking first person model. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Maybe later. Hey, I saw that. What my lord was talking about. It was a red witch crawling across the ceiling. Who would hang this in their room? Who my kid and I would hang that in my room? What is the body weapon named that is gnarly? The... You mean the burnt corpse weapon? Just literally called burnt corpse. This room. The very shiny key. My wife Julia has grown cold. Infidelity. Julia and Julius disappeared. Found Julius in the forest, and Julius still missing. Jacob came to the mansion. Huh. Julia's body was found in the lake, but it was burned. From the inside. Jesus, he fell from the tree and slit his throat with his own gardening shears. Who's fucking crying? That's why I hate kids. I hope you don't mind me reading that stuff. It is interesting, though. What the fuck? Hang on, I need that key. What the fuck is that? that effect I feel like I'm not supposed to look at her. Hi, or you. What the fuck? It's like some mummy shit. I need Brendan Fraser to help me out. Oh you're back. Hi. Oh, this is where I first met you. Be the 
house is changing. I saw that. Necessary. Well, this was me where the ski was ate that dude. I guess I should probably kill her. Well, with that amount of health, that usually means I'm not supposed to. Have another little looky loo. even more help. What if I just... <laughs> That's amazing. I missed the text saying go to the basement in the middle of the screen. I was probably looking at you guys. See that. Yeah, I got the feeling I wasn't supposed to be able to kill them. Or at least wasn't supposed to. But I kind of wanted to see if I could anyway. Well, leave me alone, man. What's your name? Oh, it's your Sumu. I remember you. Books. Uh, is this where I started? I genuinely don't remember. It's entirely possible I just walked in a big circle. This fucking did. Hey man, I ain't got no problem with you, alright? You leave me alone, I leave you alone, we go about our business. Well, that looks important. I really like that glow effect they put on the keys. It's very nice. Nice touch. Hey, okay, stop. Footsteps. Where'd you get up here?
Oh, hey, you're back. Stop blinding me. Bunch of dead dogs. Makes me sad. Well. What the unholy f What is that? You like dags? What is that? Leave me alone, I'm looking at stuff. What the fuck? Fuck your hair. It's like a maze. Am I hitting through it? Oh yeah, I can. Snatch in a long time, but I did just finally watch uh, the gentleman the other day. It's pretty good. Third person is kind of shitty. Guess who the young is? Real black doll. Okay. Well, hey, you again. Take some cool inspiration with the crazier designs you're seeing in games like Bloodborne. I don't have to take your word for it. I just trap myself behind the door like a pro. Cool though, it's very unique. Whoever made this should be very proud of themselves. Seems like a bad idea.
three month salary cut. That's pretty severe. And yet these people still work here till they die. Yet the result to save is one. <laughs> no. I'm busy. Kinda happy to avoid Discord today. It's been a fucking riot. As you know. I can't help but notice Remy, I heard you. Where you at, girl? Really? No wonder Nords are so like. I think that. she's like out by the front door and I can just hear her from here. <laughs> like, what's going on in there? You again. I'm assuming that thing teleporting around is Julius. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't have Discord open right now. But it's just been fucking drama, drama, drama today. My ego is getting out of hand, I hear. I should drop a save, it's been a little while. This bed is askew, kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming, buddy. Oh, hang on. I found a door. Give me a sec. Weird place for a dwarven chest. Hang on, another door. I can't help it, alright? Don't judge me. You're telling me if you were a millionaire and you saw a dollar just sitting on the on the ground, you wouldn't be like, hey, a dollar. Pick it up. Come on. I would. Expecting it to prompt me with a key. Okay. Hey, I missed a note. Black wall in the mistress's room is a hidden door. Black wall in the mistress's room. Sure, she'll be very excited to see herself when she watches this stream later. She's at work right now. Hi, future Heather. It's me. I know, Squidrick. I was just fucking with you. Is there something here? Oh, uh, yep. I'm gonna say, it seemed room for that room to be locked. It seemed weird for that room to be locked and have nothing important in it, but I just have to look slightly closer. 
Hey, big papa. Uh, excuse me for one second, I hear a cat fight. about that. I'm extremely concerned for Pumpkin. They just like fucking with her, especially now that she's weaker. Uh, I came in that way, I think. girl just wanted to go to the bathroom and they wouldn't let her down. Have I played Aldrin already? No. something? Do you like not have room to swing or are you just gonna... <laughs> Alright. I've noticed on random occasions some enemies will just not attack and I have no idea why. Um, sorry to hear that. I don't really know anything about it. I know that she built it under the premise of just having more mods, which does not appeal to me, so I just never downloaded it. I also have not heard uh, the best reviews. but. I have no idea if that's true or not. mean to get you out of bed, I'm sorry. Well, you know how much I love jumping down stuff. Her other pack is amazing. I did not know she had another one. Lady 
medium racials. I'm not familiar with it. I've heard the name, but that's it. They died. Crazy racial abilities. See, I never fucking use racial abilities, so it really wouldn't make a difference to me. I always forget they exist. Are you afraid to quest? Oh, yeah, quest was her. Oh, man, I didn't save for that whole thing. Oh, that sucks. Trying to clear cable level fun despite two dangerous. <laughs> See, I know some people are really into that kind of thing, and I fucking hate it. I think it's so stupid. It's the same kind of people that use mods to like make bleak hills or bleak falls barrow and silent moves camp like mid-level dungeons. It pisses me off. They're known tutorial areas. You can't do that to people. Unless you made the list yourself and you added those mods, like knowing, like, hey, I added these mods, and now these areas are going to be hard. Like, doing that to users is shitty, in my opinion. There's a difference between super hard and just being an asshole. Like, I enjoy a good challenge. I don't like things when when they're fucking impossible just for the sake of being impossible and saying fuck you. I hate that. A really good example, I think, uh, was, god, I don't know when, but a while back I did, actually it was a CC quest for Umbra, and that boss fight was tough. But it was super cool. I really enjoyed it. But it was challenging. It had new mechanics. I really liked it a lot. So, um, I don't know what it was called. Drop a save. You are correct. Okay. I have a gift. Everybody gather around. Come on, come on. Don't do that. They staggered me. Yeah, that's a good shot. Would have been funny. That's fucking ridiculous. Are we gonna talk or are we gonna fight? Okay.
Oh, we're back to Heather. That's what I mean about the whole more mods thing. Like, if I tried my hardest to add every single mod that I could possibly think of, I could not get this list to 800 gigs. There's no way. And even if I did, I would be fucking pissed that my list was 800 gigs. Hey, cut it out. Uh, so there's something about a black wall in the mistress's room that was a hidden door. I don't know which room is hers. Stop. Try not to look at you, dude. You're new. We must be Heather. Dude, I can't get out of this room, can I? Can you guys come in, or...? Thanks. Stay there. Once I got out of the cave and got to the camp to the left, which I always do, it took 15 tries on a depth. That's fun. Hey, Heather. Can you stop? You're making it hard for me to see things. What have I missed? Did I miss another message or something? Or... Oh, I got a key. Hey! <laughs> Tony mutated fern, yeah. Or fifty pencils. cheat on your spouses and get your mistresses pregnant. Lesson learned. Oh, hey, with me in a second. I think we're good here. Well, you got to you got to factor in install plus downloads. There's a fucking army of them, okay. It's about the same. Did I just leave? <laughs> no. Down to 600 gigs. It's an interesting area. gigs just to build the BSAs. That's cool. I 
Are you a dragon, Julia? Oh, what? She even makes dragon sounds, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Which doll? What a stubborn guest you are. Why couldn't you just die? Yeah, my real piece of shit. Hidden room. Hidden room? What hidden room? Hidden room key. Where would that be? Those aren't doors anymore. Oh. I guess it's in here somewhere. Hey okay, kid, I must have something to do with you. What do you want from me? Oh, fuck, obviously. Look, the young Julius sacrificed his own life in a curse ritual. The dagger beside him is imbued with a powerful curse, and there's no doubt that the source of the curse hanging over the mansion. Hey. Escape. Hi. Fragile. How very fragile mortals are. I am here to save you. Not much longer now, and you will be incinerated by the flames of Julius's hatred. This child's hatred is strong. Its flames will not go out until they burn you to ashes. Even the maze hatred was nothing like this. This is why Molag Bal is offering you a... helping hand. Uh... 
mean, I feel like I have to complete my cycle of redemption from the beginning, you know? And yet you pray to the divines? Stendar will not lift a finger to save your pathetic skin. It is his wish that you burn and die here. The Adra are weak. Nothing but illusion. They cannot feed the starving. They cannot warm the freezing. But I... Huh, but I, Molag Bal, am different. I offer you salvation. I can show you a miracle. I will continue to extend my hand to you until your flesh and bones are turned to cinders. I will be here. Arterize. Sorry, man. Wait, what? What's happening? Um, yeah, still me. I, I take it Stendar gave me life again. Did you finish your prayers? The keeper of this temple went to the Bruant Mansion and still hasn't returned. I want you to find out what happened. I have no idea what could be going on there, so please be careful. Oh, you, uh, you are from Marwind, aren't you? Did I... Did I go back in time? Or get reborn as... Huh. Didn't I kill you? I think. I don't mean to be rude, but I can't stand that slaves still exist in your homeland. All creatures are meant to live their lives freely. Look who finally woke up. I hope you found that sarcophagus comfortable. <sighs> What's wrong? You're making a face as if every bone hurts. Well, who are you? You can't be a member of the Elysian Order. You? You want to tell me you're of the same lineage as Saint Alicia? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You're out of your mind. And even if that were true, it has no meaning in this wasteland. Um. Bear chest. Hmm. 
The usual fools, climbing from sarcophagus every day. I don't remember all of them. No, wait. There's another one who's still alive like you. I believe he was a slave trader, but his eyes burned like fire. Yours are as cold as ice. Thanks. Don't know, and I don't care. Fair. Friend or foe? Neither. I'm looking for my family's graves, but I can't find them. Oh, would you really? The names on them are Johan, Simon, and Klaas. Please tell me if you find them. I missed some corner text again. I fucking suck at this. Tell us what deception of false is. Reading skill life between sight. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. That's not helpful. None of this is helpful. Fetus. A neat lock interface. That like says hello everyone. Quite the inn you guys have here in Cold Harbor.
Nutmeg, Abby said hello. The wind is changing. I hope it will be a fair wind. The scamp captain may have the key, don't you think? It might be a good idea to start with him. I'm not hiding him under the table, am I? In the watchtower, maybe? Fools and scamps seem to like high places. No, unfortunately. I am busy practicing knife throwing. I want to have another go at Vernekas. However, it seems I have no talent for knife throwing. Even after centuries of practice, I still haven't hit anything. Anything? The gizmo? The wind is changing. I hope it will be a fair wind. Go to the watchtower at some point. Love? No. He's unvoiced, I see. Are you sorry? I love it. I immediately love it. Oh, there's so many little hints that thing can give. I'm not gonna remember even half of what she just said. All right, it was a genu genuine pleasure meeting you, and I hope you come home with me later. Ah, oh, you're fine, dude. I love it. It's so tiny. 
You look like little nutmeg. With bigger teeth. Wait, Giovanni? Giovanni is glad to see you again. Aren't you dead? They were infested with leech parasites. They spread the plague, but Giovanni is all right because he does not drink dirty water. Stupid Marso. To steal the heart of Campanera, he borrowed power from Molag Ball. This form was the price. His soul was twisted, turned into a beast. Giovanni will also become like this. Once Guma, I see. Even in death. Kine, no. Stop it. Oh no. Those look pretty comfortable though. What's on your face? I open in that door. Sorry, I assumed you were dead. Ish. These interiors seem pretty useless. Except for the occasional book. friends oh are you freeing me i don't even know what happened that i ended up trapped here what a rotten luck oh hmm i don't quite remember there was something about a slave trader and cheap booms i will look for my friends i am sure they are in trouble too well we were supposed to meet at the Mafmalatu Priory, but who wants to listen to that grumpy old man there? 
I thought you might want to come with me, but... Okay. Have a good one. Why are some of your friends hostile, but you aren't? you. Too much. A lot of gold. Unacceptable. Normal. Newcomer, you're so full of life. I didn't see a flying worm. A flying Daedrith. How can he even fly with such an unshapely body? Take the key from the captain. He's always up in one of the watchtowers. Yeah, you're the third one to tell me that. Vigilance. Weaklings like you? One such tried his luck with the flying worm a while ago. Some screaming was heard, and then... Nothing. If you don't want to meet the same end, you should learn your place in this world. Avoid him. What kind of person spends all their time talking to a corpse? But even for madmen like him, there is still something like inner peace. He's not quite at peace though, but you should still not disturb him. Okay. No kind. I need money. I need so much money. Can see <laughs> Did the mighty Vigilant also end up in oblivion? What an irony. So what will it be? I hope you have enough gold for shopping and please refrain from this so-called mercy of yours. I got infected with a mutated Thracian plague. All thanks to you. Every day is full of pain because of you. I'm really grateful to Stendar, damn bastard. Here's where I can make all my money, at least. Do you saw any cheese?
Oh, jeez. But I have a lot of potions to sell. One twenty six. What do I got? How's that? Remember where this is? I'll come back. Electronize all the story keys here. Yeah. I need all of them. I don't know what they're for, but I know I need them immediately. If he had more gold on him, I could easily... What the fuck is with your head? Fuck that war. Okay. It's just the kind of person I am, man. I see unique stuff for sale and I must buy it. Sure, I can do that. Missed one. Take your word for it, Desos. I still need to find those gravestones for that random person. That one. It's an unnecessary cell transition. Too busy to help you with that right now. I'm sure somebody in Discord can help you out. What a pointless tower. I mean, I'm not really sure why you would come to YouTube for support when I have a whole Discord set up for it. There's plenty of people there that know their shit. Such a random cell. Like, why is this here? This one then. We need that key to the fort. Do we really? Hey, do you have a key? 
Be gone, swine, or should I tear you apart? Be gone, swine, or should I tear you apart? Thanks. Glad I'd have to kill him, but I guess not. I completely forgot that I put some points into Conjuration. Look at that duration, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's funny. That sounds cool. Do I have enough magic to cast it? Yeah. I need some one-handed conjuration, which means expert. Let's do a couple random ones. Join the wind. It reminds me of the old days when I was still young. I had a go in those days, but now I have nothing. My road is blocked and I can't see the light anymore. For about four or five hundred years, I died in Vanua, and Moloch Bal stole a part of my soul. I've been tied to this place ever since. Molag Bal robs the person even of the peace of their death. And the suffering then lasts forever. Terrible. It appeared around 200 years ago, and has been illuminating this place since then. In the past, this was a dark and gloomy place. I don't know the details. The Inquisitor in the Priory should know more. He seems like he's been here for a long time already. It's supposed to keep up the barrier around the Imperial City, but it hasn't done that for a long time now. There should be three more towers in the city, 
But those were destroyed too. The floating island to the southeast is now this the is last anchor part. of the barrier. You have good eyes and a strong will. You remind me of myself when I was young. You shine like a beacon in this wasteland. Yes, I will gladly become your sword and shield. Oh, oh new friend. Assuming I can take him out of Cold Harbor, then yes, he will go to the museum. Where'd he go? Did I have to tell him to follow me? Some followers are weird like that. that sooner rather than later. happen if I summon them here? I mean, they would just act like normal followers. Seem very strong. Why do I keep this? Yay.
No. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Yeah. you got on that ledge, buddy. I do everything myself. Vigilant of Stendar. Once again, my name is Vernakis. I am the Bane of Kine! You humiliated me before, but now I will repay you a hundredfold! So I'm gonna be honest, after all this time, I really have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing here in Cold Harbor. And that kind of felt like the end of this tower area, which seemed to be the main destination. I guess I just live here now. Mm, yes, yes, I don't want to suffer. I'm glad these guys don't mind that I just went inside and killed everyone they know. ball can suck my tiny pathetic little dick.
Jesus. How much money do I have? Thirty-three hundred. Need more vendors so I can get more money. Sound of the blacksmith. Um, yeah, I sold him all my weapons and shit. Probably at the top of the tower, in the center of the Imperial City. Why do you want to know? You'd better not ask him for a favor, believe me. You'll just end up like the ones outside. Praying to the divines is useless, too. The Elysian Order burned all their priests and servants. That's madness. No mortal can do this. He's a playwright of this tragedy, and we're all just his puppets. This is the Mathemalatu Priory. Back in its glory days, it was the monastery of the Elysian Order. Countless pilgrims used to come here to pray to the one true god in Saint Elysia. But that was a few thousand years ago. Glad I can still crouch while I'm here. It's to the east of the Priory. It's a place where the good-for-nothing louts like you get to hang out. Who knows? Maybe you'll meet a familiar face there. And you'll get to be good-for-nothing louts together. Oh, and don't try to leave this place by going north. You'll just end up as food for the flying worm. A Daedroth who learned to fly. He's called... Mantana, I think. He eats everyone trying to leave the waterfront district. If you don't want to die like that, quietly wait for your end here. You'll rot away in any case, but at least it won't hurt if you stay here. I would rather be eaten than spend centuries just standing here. They were the ones blessed by the true god in St. Alicia, and they still ended up in this wasteland. The Imgur prophet Marak created the order. Sometimes I wonder why they believed that monkey's foolish tales. That's fucking ridiculous. Okay. Cool. Make flame spirit. His name is Pepe, yes. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Go north, I'll get eaten apparently. I feel like I could win that fight or something. I got a bridge key. I haven't been through here yet. Oh. I 
have no idea how long I've had that key. Scorpion, that was a spider. Are you gonna instantly attack or do we talk? Like we're old pals. If I kill this guy, Can you let me in if I kill him. I'll do it. Fight me like a man. Thank you for killing the worm. I can finally enjoy my watch again. I told you, I'm on a walk. An old man should be allowed this much. You're right, I'm sorry. This is the territory of Lord Varla. If we don't want to become food for his dogs, avoid the fortress to the east and go north. He's a knight who made a name for himself with the cleansing of Malata. But his mind is twisted, broken. He's now hunting humans with his dogs. After he ended up here, he swore allegiance to Molag Val. He was allowed to keep his human form, and he even got his own territory. Be careful around him. The main gate is to the north, but it's been sealed since the invasion of the Army of Order. There is a way, though. To the northeast of the island, there is a large sewer leading to the prison tower in the city. You may want to try crawling through it. If you're lucky, it will lead you to the Imperial City. If you're lucky. An infinite army, led by Jigalog. It invaded a few decades ago and began conquering the entire continent. Almost the entire empire was absorbed and destroyed by Jigalog. After the defeat in the Battle of Wei, only this island with the Imperial City remained. Countless souls have been sacrificed to maintain the barrier. But even the souls have limits. And more like Baal's power is declining. The barrier will not last much longer. Then, Grey March will overrun the Swaceland and crush us all. Care about this? Northeast, you say? Well, let's find a sewer. It's like underwater. Why would it be underwater? And why are there poor people in Cold Harbor anyway? I didn't think. I'm afraid if I jump down, I'm not going to be able to get back up though. Well. 
How many of you are screaming at me right now because I'm not supposed to be doing this? my own way into the fucking city. I don't give a shit. Why are you screaming at sets of skills? I've never heard of. Level five? What are you trying to fix? What's wrong? I kind of saw you talking about it in um, BFS with Tortle, but I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention, to be honest. Kind of in and out, just hanging out with Pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, cool move bugged him. Give him a minute. I'm sure you can handle it. Unless he was guarding something. He's got the barrels. Good job. I knew you could do it. Battle Mage level 5 perk says it should be 25% less magicka, but it's instead 25% more powerful. Also, it's not a shield, it's a ward. I need... I need mage. I thought I had mage. I do have mage. Oh. You're not of all the prerequisites. Why not? What are you talking about? Requires mastery and mage. Do I not have mage mastered? I thought I did. Oh. Alright, well. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> no, but I can look into it though. For stuff like that, it would be, um... What would you say? Let me... Sorry. I don't know if I've said it. So that would be... Either a magic effect or a spell or an enchantment. Or a perk entry point. I'm not sure. It depends on how they would set it up. It should be pretty easy to check out. The hardest part about doing stuff like that is just learning how to read those sections and figure out what that shit all means. I didn't mean to interrupt your dinner, you don't have to get up.
I still want to do that dev stream too, so probably one of the next two days. I have some painting to do tomorrow, a painting house. And then I have a dentist appointment on Thursday. But I'm free other than those two things. So I'm running! <laughs> Portals text. Yeah, I saw the screenshot of that. is some spooky stuff. It's pretty cool though. It slowed way down once I got here though. Act 3 was uh, pretty insane. Sure you can handle it. IRS, uh, I guess. Oh, sounds like you got him. Good job, man. Can't believe I'm not overweight yet. Eight ninety seven. Oh, still got a ways to go. Now, unless it's the classes with me someday. Sure. I'm always down for break and some shit. I really hope I wasn't supposed to talk to you, Emperor. So it's here already. Was I supposed to talk to that emperor? Because <laughs> I just kind of attacked on reflex. 
saw a horker and I thought, kill it. where I came in, I think. I mean, I just assume Marcus would know. Because I didn't know it yesterday. Because I didn't recognize the username, but I've known Marcus for a very long time. I even have his phone number. We go on dates. It is Dark Souls-y inspired, I guess. I don't know. So I'm told. Hello, you look important. Miserable wretch. Oh, what rude. are you doing in my fort? When I greet people. That heart is nothing but a stupid tale of an old man. I have no intention of looking for it. The mythic era ended ass. long ago. Don't apologize for that. And pass. I'm sure you wouldn't enjoy becoming food for my dogs. I mean, he probably has displays. And coming here was your last stupid mistake. Yeah, yeah display totally worth it. Yeah, a bunch of armor I've never heard of. Wait, no. I think I got it all. Oh god, I did something. What did I do? Yes, tons. Are you so big? There were only women, children, and priests who had never lifted a sword. This shouldn't be called a battle. Taking Mac Maintain was good work. Yeah, and now you. we are one step closer to Malada. When you were a horker. Don't be so formal, Vala. We may not be related by blood, but I still think of you as my son. You can ease up. Alessian Order wants to use it as a temple. They say that if we pray there, they will find out where Shazar is. If we can't find Shazar that way, then we should also take Malada, don't you think so? It is all for the good of the Empire. Vala, I ordered all Iliad killed, no matter whether man, woman, or child. As a Knight of the Empire, you must overcome your compassion. Why are you hesitating to kill one or two more of these filthy Iliad? Strike her down now. Iliad gap. No. Wait, you know about this? I should have known. Have you been listening to that strange bard? However, the alien abandoned you. They threw you into the Lake Romare as a newborn. If the Inga Prophet hadn't found you, you would have been food for the fish. And you would still choose the blood of the alien over us. Vala, I think of you as a son. Would I raise you to knighthood otherwise? I raised you as a human child, as a child of Shazad. So why don't you raise your sword with a brave cry and let it fulfill its purpose? I care very much for you. 
So you must strike down any alien who would deceive you. Please understand. I... understand. Fine. You and I are through from this day forth. Take that filthy girl and go wherever you think you can find your happiness. The last ship to Eleanor will sail in three days. You should board it. Okay, bye. Come on, Enola. Bye. Good morning. Where are we going? Is it nice there? Yes. Yes. I wish you good health, Varla. Leave the worries so of the Empire to us and live a good life. Yes? No, not a single one. And to think Jazan was using golden coins of Alessia as bait. That damn bard deceived Khajiit. Who uses money as fish bait, dumbass? Sounds like your own fault. Why are you staring at a wall? Hmm? That's Shayo. Okay. Cool, I guess. Oh man, I forgot I jumped through the gate. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I can go out and try to find that sewer and do it right if you want. <laughs> oh, it's probably a little late. Um, I guess I'm done here. Uncle Father. And you know, in my defense, if he didn't want me to jump around the gate, then he should have built steeper mountains. Not ones that I could jump up. This is Skyrim. You gotta expect players to jump up mountains. It's just the way it is. Gotta leave this place. Close enough. Okay. I'm warning you, back off. I like your hat. Never should have come ah. here. That's ah. ah. not that. Or... There you go. Ah. Ah. think he would give me the hat.
amazing. Why are you cooking people, dude? It's you again. What a coincidence. What, do you just find random rooms to sit in? I only wanted some alcohol from the kitchen. But that stingy cook. I thought one would be more relaxed about this after death. Just a little? It can't hurt, can it? Right, you understand me. His name is Vala. A child of an alien and a human. He used to be a lord of the eastern part of the Alessian Empire when he was alive. They say he was killed when his subjects rebelled against him because of his brutality. I don't think much about peasant revolts, but it was justified in this case. Not even one of them. Where in oblivion could they be? Some friends they are. I'm tempted to kill him for that. Oh, that just reminded me. I meant to go back to Wheels Alone and kill everybody there, too. Seriously, how the fuck do I get out of here? Trying to do this without quest tracking, but I hate being lost in buildings. Damn it. Was it Sir Gregory's and everything we called? Thanks.
So I feel like I should store some shit in here. If I get overweight. So I hope I don't lose anything. Okay for now. Just to see how it works. This place is way bigger than I ever thought it would be. Yeah, I assume they're safe. I was just thinking, like, when and where I'd get it back later. Because if I, like, get teleported out of here, I don't want to lose access to all of it. At least the sewers I was supposed to come in from. No, it's not a bucket. It's a chef's hat. I'm amazing. I'm an amazing chef. a lot. I still have my old chef coat, but I never wore a hat. I just wore a baseball cap for all my years. These dudes are tough down here. Yeah, this is Vigilant Tyler. What's up, man? It's most certainly not Dark Souls.
guess I have nothing to do here. Do you recommend the smallest people who just want to play the game and not go through the pain of modding? It would be really awkward if I did not recommend this mod list, because I made it. So, I'm a little biased. Missed a door? Fucking god damn it. I miss that. Thank you. I recommend this model someone just want to play the game and not go through the game. There you go. I got a name. I feel a little bad about that. Requires a key, motherfucker. Is there not a key in here? Like, that sucks. Well, I attacked before I noticed the name. I'm sorry. Your name is not Conrad. I'm still wondering if I'm going through this a little bit backwards. Because of my uh, the sequence break. has what you would want in the list. Uh, yeah, except for uh, like hardcore shit, so I'm not into that. Guaranteed if you already have story keys. I only bought one key. I haven't even used it yet, I don't think. Not 
come back. Is that one of the sword heart people? I think it is. I'll come back in a minute. be happening a lot more often lately. Spear, it looked cool. That's not how you spell fiery. Hey, finally got him. Good job. There's nothing else to do here, I take it. We're just here for that guy. Back to that fountain thing, or funeral thing, whatever. Oh, hey! one.
I guess that portal in the beginning would have just teleported me over here. Confirm. Yep. Nice. So it would have just skipped that whole section. That's weird. Hi, Heather. I killed you earlier. Is this like some weeping angel shit? Cause they're moving when I'm not looking at them. This one's coming through the wall! Hey, no! I was looking at things, you bastard! Weeping angels. Try that again without sticking around to stare at people that are actively trying to murder me. I saw you move. There's a potential camera breaking bug in one of the mausoleums? Tell me everything. Ah! Oh, kill me. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so basically, I just shouldn't touch anything in this place because it's all gonna kill me. That's what I'm. That's what I'm picking up. Sequence has changed. There's a camera to a fixed angle on a Metal Gear Solid. I think it interacts badly with directional reloads. Um, is that like a permanent bug, or was that would that be like a save and reload to fix kind of thing, or? happens, I guess I'll figure it out. Appreciate the heads up. What's the point of this place? I must have missed something. a door by this guy or... I'll see you Casey I didn't even know you were here but hi bye I'm not seeing anything This whole section seems pointless, so it's got to be in here, right? Leave me alone. Oh. I'm dumb. Oh, hey, Jeff. Yeah, I found Whoa, hey! I think I found the spot you were talking about. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, he's coming to kill me too. Perfect. Um, I need to... <laughs> this is impossible. Oh, 
don't, don't kill me. <laughs> Thank God, this is so hard. <laughs> Get up those stairs. Because this could be a while. Ah! Damn it! Honestly, it never even occurred to me to do God mode. Or save. Wonderful. Put back at the beginning. Yeah, alright. Fine. I mean, it's getting easier since I know what to do. Shit, no. Come on. you for it. What are my saves? Did it literally start a new character? That's... I don't like that. Oh, I think about you. I mean, he's not gonna kill me. Okay, I have no idea how I'm gonna figure this one out. Yeah, we're just gonna god mode this, though. Because that's... Pretty rough. Okay. Nice. Another. I really don't like that it made an actual new character. I thought that was just like a show limited race menu type deal, not a full on new thing.
think that lever would open this door over here too, just in case you were like me and went through this way first. Oh, this is gonna hurt. that ledge. Nope. Ah! Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Why didn't I do slow fall? It was just stupid. No. I have to do that again. Right lever. Interesting. So they are moving. I thought they just got closer because they killed the boss. I saw you move. Hey, cut it out. Lane's still here. Why not? Oh. I guess I'm done here. It's weird that I'm, like, progressing through this, but I also feel like I'm making zero progress whatsoever.
mean, that's fine. Fine with no hand holding. It's just weird that, like, I'm fighting these bosses and getting all this shit, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing. Like, I'm not doing anything important, it feels like. Like, I'm not progressing the actual mod, I'm just doing random shit for no apparent reason. Like this place, why am I here? Granted, I just kind of wandered in, but still. Why am I here? flickering in and out of existence occasionally. Okay. Come in. Glad you're happy, kind. Everyone just don't even have friendly NPCs. Just go to this side. <laughs> oh. So the only time I was ever in Vigilant or uh, what's called Unslaught or however you pronounce it is I was literally just doing like. Like, uh, I was just typing, like, help, vigilant, or sell, and just seeing what I can come up with so that I could record trailers for shit. And then I would just, like, COC to these cells, record some quick footage, and then leave again. But I've never actually done any of the content until now. Got a Histus flask, if that's what you meant. A glass jar of Sunny D, are you kidding? Something I would have expected you to say.
I mean, that's fair. It's a fair assessment, I guess. I don't want to leave yet, I just got here. We'll see how it progress flying up the close and you can dope so. I don't understand most of the words that you just said. Sorry. I am frequently a disappointment though, so... Sound it familiar. Ferrandir. How do I know that name? The reason I came up here? I have a feeling I'm not supposed to jump down there yet, which means that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hello. <laughs> See you, Abby. Dare you? I thought that was a person. Protein donuts. That seems like an oxymoron. Unless you mean. So when I was in Georgia, there was this like fancy bagel sh or fancy donut shop, and they had these little donuts with caramel and bacon. So those, I guess, would be protein donuts. They're pretty good too. They don't sound like they'd be good, but they're pretty good. track down this bug. I'll reappear randomly and then it won't happen again for like 30 hours but it's so weird when I just randomly go invisible. needs healthy. Okay, that does 
not very good. Are you being paid to talk about this right now, Tyler? It's okay the if you are. Is near. You gotta make that money, I feel you. Now Fucking with you, dude. Good thing ingredients don't add to my carry weight, because I would be fucked. <laughs> Lauren's prior prison. Hey man, I'll never argue with donuts. Who doesn't like donuts? Like tacos. Who doesn't like tacos? Very nice beam. Hello. Oh, I thought maybe we were going to talk. It's fine. It's your prerogative.
Oh, my dearest friend. What a nice person you are. Thank you. Can I have your money? Because I need it. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Like you, he is trying to escape this wasteland. But he just cannot do it. He cannot open the gate himself, not even turn the key, because he has no inner Aetherius. My friend, a soul is everything. A soul is the whole Mundus. It can turn Oblivion into Aetherius and the other way around. They are pathetic. They are like a soulless slave who keeps dancing and never realizing the difference between dreams and reality. Learn from them. There is no crueler death than theirs here in this wasteland. These are the remains of a dragon the Owl Mage caught. It's the work of ancient magic from the times when it was not yet divided into different schools. It's crude and brutal, and knows no limits or mercy. Blood and flesh is etched in endless, unimaginably painful rituals. It's so unforgivable, even a necromancer would hesitate to use it. It's a dreadful magic. The boss is correct. I heard he was an eccentric mage. He never used any magic himself, but made people around him do what he wanted. So be careful if an owl ever perches on your shoulder and sings to you about luck and glory. Okay. The image was lost, and the idol shattered. It would be madness to look for its shards in this wasteland. I mean, you guys can talk about it all you like. You'll just occasionally have my stupid ass going, Huh? What's that? Like the Metal Gear Solid guard. What was that noise? Whose footsteps are these? Maybe I should just get this show on the road and start following actual quest markers. I have no idea how to leave this place. Wait! Back where I started, there was a door that I skipped. Okay. I feel like I was supposed to lower that drawbridge at some point, but I skipped it by jumping over the wall because I'm a piece of shit. Touch this one. Okay. Oh. I guess I can't go that way.
the door I was thinking of. Entrance was way above me. Oh, convenient. Got this. Wake up. Finally over encumbered. How big is this fucking cave? You feel right. Black merchant. Uh, I think so, yeah. sell it though, I want to put it in the museum. I guess 
see. How the fuck do I get out of here? Obviously been here. It's all the dead people. Actually, I wonder if I have... Where's this spell? Yeah, that's the spell I was thinking of. Alteration. I know what it's called, and I don't know if I have it. I think it stand out. I don't know why there's two of these. Could call him in. Actually, I wonder if I have my pack horse. Some shit. That doesn't look like it. Stash supplies. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they're all spiders. I know. Ah! 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 Ah!
move away again. The nails of Saint whatever the youth picked up grant perk points upon eating them. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nails? Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Don't I need? Oh. Not until I look around a bit more. Arbus, is that you? Corn, like the band? Why would I say that to a dog? Take that. Damn my looting habits. I don't want you to be gone, you can stay. Feel like an asshole. No one escapes.
Mildly stressful. Wonderful, wonderful, my Lord Pelinor. This was splendid. Songs of your heroic acts will be sung in a thousand years yet to come. Working with her? Uh, hardly. She does not consider anyone her equal. But it's thanks to her that our people can move among the shadows undisturbed. Oh, of course. 
I would like to show you something interesting in Umaril's gallery. Please, follow me. As long as we go slowly, because I'm overweight. What do you think? This is the lost body art from Abagalus. It seems Umeril went to some banes to reproduce it. A mountain of guts under the bloody rain. It looks almost like one of your battlefields. In any other circumstances, you and Umeril might have been good friends. It does not seem to suit your tastes. <laughs> well, no matter. What I really wanted to show you was Fervron. Follow me, please. Be badass. This is it. She is Umaril's slave. One that is used only once, if you understand. Tomorrow she would likely be cut down and become a part of the artwork you've seen before. But Umaril is dead now. So there's no worry about that anymore. Splendid. You are her lifesaver. She carries Umaril's seed. It is up to you to decide what to do with her. It's all the same to me, what you do with her. However, if she lives, she will pose a threat. The blood of Ada is powerful, but it also breaks the minds of those who carry it within themselves, as you yourself should know very well. Very well. I see you need some time to decide. Don't rush your decision. Yeah, see you later. Help me. Th thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, but... Yes. Can you carry stuff? Uh, who, uh, who are you talking to? Or... Useless. Wait, have a little look. Rule 66. Hang on, I gotta lose a little weight. I wonder why these aren't getting stored. Why do I have these? Yay, let's go. Not your fault you got raped by a horrible person. I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier. I didn't mean it. <coughs> Trusting her to a dog, but... <laughs> Alright, you guys have a good life together.
Oh, hi. Do I live here now? Excellent camera angle. Ooh. Oh, hey. Ah, so you didn't kill her. This is unusual for you, but was it a right thing to do? Her child will surely cause disasters, larger even than you. As you wish. Then, farewell. I'll see ya. I guess I can just... oh. I was a storm, the rage itself. This is how I could fight battle after battle, lay village after village in ash and ruins, and murder women and children alike. It was always raining after the battle. Gentle rain washed away the blood and healed my pain. It swept the dirty blood away and drove it to the end of the sea. So I fought. So I wanted to think. Kain was always crying after battle, but not for me. No. She was crying for the innocents lying there. The blood of the weak will no longer be shed. Even kind will not need to cry again. My fight. My fight is over. I ran on and on. When I finally came to my senses, the reign of remorse had ceased, and the sun had long since begun to sink in the distance. I turned around, and at the end of my long shadow saw what I was looking for. A golden wheat field, gentle breeze stroking it, a woman hitting the pillow, feathers bursting out of it turning to snow, and a child playing with the wolf. This, this is the wind of kine. I finally found it. Finally. Oh, hey. That was pretty intense. Dogs are loaded. Killing me with all this loot. I can't not take it. That'd be ridiculous.
करो Like Doctor Mask. Try to lighten our load a little bit. My weight. It's the heaviest shit I don't need or want. Want all of it. You, you can go. I needed that last one. I mean, I have the money. I'm not worried about that. I have all the money. Oh, hey! You know what? We're just gonna fucking put everything in here. stuff than I ever anticipated I'd be picking up. Everything that isn't favorited. Eh, that's alright. Ooh, that's pretty good. Keep that. Also pretty good. There's your uh your Sunny D. Then 685 is pretty good. Most of my shit's favorite anyway for Sky UI groups. The Sithis ring do? Well, I'll show you. Allows you to have two summons, and they cost half, like half cost. Pretty good.
Oh wow, I forgot I had my gun. Charge it. Those commercials weird. I know what you're talking about. Surreal, yeah. Good word for it. Wasn't there one where he was like, can you imagine what it's like to go through life without being able to hug your own kids? Because <laughs> they had turned to Skittles. Uh, it's weird. Ah! Oh, sorry, I thought you were one of them. I think I saw it on YouTube or something, not TV. But granted, I haven't had cable TV in like 10 years. weapon is a giant telephone mast? Of course it is. There's nothing to do up here? Take the other one by that skeleton. Maybe it goes somewhere else. That is, of course, assuming I can even find it again. Hey! Oh, that is where I went up.
my only real complaint about this gun is you have to charge it with soul gems because it's technically a staff and it's only got a handful of shots before I have to recharge it which is a little annoying. I wish it had more charges. Which I could do, I'm just, I don't want to edit stuff mid-game, you know. I get over there. That's the one where this came from. Oh, I want the other one. You can kind of tell it's a staff by like the way I hold it. Because it's upright and my hand is in that staff position. Or a charging enchant. I probably should. There it is. I think I have that ordinator perk. Oh, I know. I thought I did. Oh no, I must have respect or something. What is it, that one? Yeah. I could have sworn I had that. Well, now I do. I don't know how effective it'll be for this, but whatever. I have so many fucking souls and soul gems, I never need another one. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. I had to drop them all because they were taking up too much of my weight. Yeah, I have a few. And I have some of my inventory too, just for this gun. Wake up! Okay, don't. It's fine. Shots. It's a little annoying. Yeah, you wave that pistol. Do it, Tyler. I am beating up homeless people. I'm literally in a place called the Beggar's Path. What's this guy doing here? You can take the money. That's fine. Hey, you have a good day, sir. What are you doing here? 
You're finally here. What kept you so long? There's nothing worth stopping for in this wasteland. You're a right Voice lazy like John, one. Please, no shit. Even an old man like myself managed to overtake you. Originally, it was used to transport criminals and other goods. Workers and beggars settled around and gradually built a large city. Alicians burned this town many times out of fear of the plague, but it always started rebuilding the very next day. The Alician Order finally gave up and even granted this city some autonomy. Ironically, the thrashing plague broke out here in the following year. The people here had no chance escaping the plague. Mountains of corpses clogged the sewer, and Lake Rumar was filled with blood and decayed flesh. Then, they started burning corpses every day. I remember it like yesterday. To the prison tower. It's a place where people who fought against the Lysians were imprisoned. Beware of the leech monsters along the way. They are rampant here, and far worse than the people in the slums. You must have seen people infested with the leeches on your way here. Whatever remains of them, ends up here. Some call them Mary's children. Well, the Elysians burned her on the pyre for, supposedly, being a witch. Some say she consorted with the more like Ball and gave birth to those monsters. The masses called her Mara. Mara. The name of one of Anuiel's damned usurpers. Okay. Mom, enjoy your walk. I guess I'm assuming you're still out for your walk. Oh, well, nice of you to join me. Inigo, why are you here? What is on your mind? Go it away. was an honor, my friend. I will be in Riften if you need me. Be I'll safe. Pop up out of nowhere. Another fight. Do whatever you want. Um, if I watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, it was like before memory happened. So I probably did, but I was too young. I didn't watch a whole lot of TV when I was a kid. My followers are showing up. fast. Bye.
Don't tell her that. Heather's old as hell. Uh oh. Wait, this is... This is the slums, right? This is where I was? Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure he didn't just pop up in a new place or something. But I crossed the river. How's he? Doing? That doesn't make sense. That can't be the place I came from. Whatever. Yeah, I've just missed Indigo like 20 times. He just randomly pops up sometimes. I don't know what's up with that. I think that follower mod I updated broke him a little bit. Which is fine. I never use it. You don't win. Casey's old. <laughs> Sorry. Casey, what are you, like 54 or something like that? I know you're up there. By the way, do you know uh, it was Jacob's birthday today? He just turned 24. It's just a baby. So his last day is on Friday. I talked to him today a little bit. What is going on down there? Shit, I missed. What was before Boomer? Because that's what you are, Heather. Man. I don't know what these things are, man. I'd have to check their keywords. Well, I don't know if he's on the schedule for next week. I haven't looked at it.
Geriatric millennials. That sounds about right. <laughs> This is about where I fell. Yeah. Ah. We're shipping Shagora. Remember, you can tell me to pray anytime and I'll do it. Speaker stuff. Or loophole stuff, right? There. Twins. You guys do look a lot alike as well. His whole thing is being random. This just keeps going. Hey, sword guy. That's a very big cleaver you have. Bell. What is that? I think it's a bell. Almost killed it.
Mercy of Stendar. Literally a log. Wonderful. What's up, dude? She is a priestess of Mara from the time of the Alessian Empire. Apparently, she was a healer who could cure the Thracian Plague. But there are very few records of her left. All I know is that she was burned as a witch by the Alessian Order during the outbreak of the Thracian Plague. I am tending the bonfire. Those leech monsters fear it. As long as you light a fire, you won't be attacked by them. Well, there are creatures like Atima who don't fear fire, but she is harmless. They are former humans, twisted by the Thracian Plague and Mary's Blessing. They rot again and again yeah, I've been bitching about that for two until they here. lose their human form. Talos, Talos, Invincible, Talos. Or a voice at all. Or a conversation. Mary is very kind. She does not hurt Atima like her old mother. Atima hates her. Atima hates her old father, too. They hurt Atima. Bad child. Bad child, they said, because Atima is a Khajiit. They made her wear a collar and beat her with the whip. We also got to remember that Vigilant and the Vigilant voiced add-on are two different mods, so I don't really want to talk to you. Because regular Vigilant is all just silent. Doesn't look good. Sleep oh, well. Scrap, are you okay? And hey, Lucian. You right hey, up, Remy. What's up, guys? trying to find us. Never should have come. Ah. Dumbass, come here. Open the door. Are you? Are you Mara? To appear in the image of Alicia? Are you mocking us? Good. Stay silent. You have no right to speak as it is. Why in oblivion would you interfere with us now? Don't you know what will happen to you tomorrow? I was not informed who you are. And I don't care whether you truly are her or just her imitation. But tomorrow, you will be condemned and burned in the pyre. And those kissing your feet today will throw you on the fire tomorrow at my mere's jester. Are you aware of this? Yes, I think you are. Silence! Be quiet, witch! You may have fooled the masses, but I cannot be deceived. We will burn you tomorrow morning. 
We will burn you as a witch, a heretic to St. Alicia. But of course, you probably already know this. Karma lost? What did I do? Let's go to sleep. For you to come to such an end, Mara. Regrettable. Is that giant lady's corpse? A loot. Might not get to loot her. There's something here. Down nice and out. out. You're such a good boy. Every other boss has had unique shit. I need her loot. I'm upset. to loot her. I don't care what I'm meant to do. I want to. I guess my followers are just gonna stay with me now. That's fine. Excuse me? Fuck off, Remy. Did I miss something in there? And I guess we should go back. Excuse me. You are excused. Right. There's something here. Just another body to add to her. Why does everything want to kill us? 
Just to the other side of the building. Okay, that's cool. I really didn't want to have to go through that whole area again. In High Rock, adhering to society and moving up the ranks they've devised is very important. Really, though, status and etiquette are everything. Yes. Well, you know the drill. Hey, Al. safe through there. Oh. Remy was also excited for that cutscene. Orke, gold of life and death, we entrust to you Martha who has finished her life's journey much too soon. Please take away her burdens, lead her to the great Aetherius, and let her into the circle of saints. Grant eternal happiness to us who grieve here, as well as to Martha, who has now passed through the cycle of life and death. R.K. in your name. R.K. in your name. Dear friends, thank you for gathering today to remember Martha. I am Before sure she is watching us from Aetherius. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for your sympathy. You help me bear this day. Johan? Uh, are you alright? Come, let's get back home. It's going to rain. Please don't stay too long. Martha wouldn't want you to get sick. You're a weird guy, Ball. Death of a loved one is always a dreadful affair. How cruel R.K. is. Just a traveling bard. My name is Bal. Would you like to hear a song? Perhaps the story of Polydor and Eloisa? Ah, uh, a pity. Well, it can't be helped if you are not in the mood. Because of this maze, my lord has ordered me to deliver it to you. Collect the souls of sinners, as many as you can. Will you do it? Yes, of course. My lord is above Arke's laws. I understand. If you change your mind, I will be in Breville with this maze. Okay, bye.
over with, at least. Some people find it boring, but I like pouring over research notes. It's like a game, solving puzzles. Yeah, that's great, really. God is the pain of death and fear, but he who overcomes the pain and the fear becomes himself a god. R.K. himself did it. This is the evidence, the lingering remains of the miracle. I have sacrificed a lot of blood and flesh, spare not even my own body. But my lord still says, not enough. You should offer your flesh and blood too. Let us both walk along the path to divinity. Sounds like a terrible idea. Hey, you know this thing that didn't work out for me? You should do it too! Sure, curse you! Go, Scrap! Want to dance? Those tits and those things! Don't worry, your death won't be in danger. Your corpse can be used to further science. There's a prompt on him though, like, I feel like I'm supposed to do something. <laughs> also, looks like there's a path behind them. Damn it. Thank you. Must you push like that? Just thinking maybe I'll come back here later or something. Really bad at seeing those messages. In my defense, it's a big monitor. Just outright attack you, buddy. I don't 
don't like attacking things that don't attack me. See you, landscape gap. Maybe I still need to have that sword equipped. So this how do I not ever see those? Thank you. Actually, I think they were with a temple of Debella. A forgotten sibling, caught between dreams and oblivion. Old Romeo's blind hunger. Loveless since birth, a stillborn king. Only mimicking divinity, hunting the world of waterless and chaos. Divinity. A walking tower? No one name can mind him. And the one ever speaks well. In this, I saw a little more power. He shall be deceived by the owl. A blind fool lacking scent. He does not understand that the more one tries to something, the other one gets away from it. He who rules this place is weak, wicked, ugly, and has been from Shiza, a pitiful creature. Later, that's tough. Alright, you have a good day. Nice talking to you. Well, it's supposed to give you the heebie jeebies. Sorry to hear that, Tyler. to do. Bitch. I'd have left you alone if you didn't stand up.
vanishing thing is so weird. Wait, that was going to go. Inspiration, ideas. Come on, come on, adventurer. Throw out some thoughts. My brain is bored. Need to calm down. Well, it gave me a staff of fireballs. Makes me think maybe I need to shoot fire at this thing. Oh, we are.
restoration school. Plus, you can do damage with resto too. With, uh... okay. You know, into like the disease and undead stuff. You can do a bunch of disease damage. Pretty cool. You. But if you are here, then Casimir's soul must have been finally freed. Casimir got too close to the flame of Magnus. You saw for yourself. The flame took a hold of him. A mage who was later absorbed into the image of God Julianos of the Nine Divines. But he was a pretty poor student when it came to this flame. He stole and spread knowledge of Sarfall without a second thought. By doing this, he did more damage than even Sirabane. Each of us had a piece of our soul stolen by Molag Ball when we died. We will never know the true peace, and our souls will never reach Aetherius. It's a fire ruin. One of the wisdoms of Magnus that Juno stole from Sarfall. It is, in a way, a piece of the sun. It will burn forever. They say Juno tried to drag down Magnus, but he failed. There is no limit to the arrogance of people. They never learn. Even when the cities are reduced to ashes, Juno the Philosopher is no exception. What do I think about it? What a strange question. It's a place where the fallen end up. You, me, even more like Ball. There is no hope for us, otherwise we would not be here. I am praying to the Nine Divines. My prayers will probably never reach them, but still. I am praying to the Nine yeah. Divines. I have prayed enough. My sword is yours. Oh, yeah. I, Beric Vindril, will follow you to the end of oblivion. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that's definitely going to bruise. Did he not come with me? Why didn't he come with me? Oh, there he is. Alright. He worried me, buddy. He just went back in. I heard the door. Yeah, maybe he'll just pop back up later. Chop your head off. It's unexpected. I'm actually about to call it night too. I noticed it was after 1 a.m. a few minutes ago. 
I was just kind of getting to a decent place to stop, really. But thanks for hanging out, and thanks for all the help. I do appreciate it. Actually, I think I'll just call it here. New area. I'll, I won't get lost and then forget where I am, so we can just pick it up here tomorrow, I suppose. Who's that guy? Wouldn't be surprised if it's one of my dumbass followers. Anyway, appreciate you guys hanging out. Hopefully, I'll see you here tomorrow. I thought we would finish Vigilant today, but it's way longer than I thought. But it's pretty awesome. I am enjoying the hell out of it. So maybe we'll finish tomorrow. I don't know. I have no idea how much more we have to do, but there's still a lot of quest markers and shit, so... I guess we'll see. But, as always, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time.